Coach Ferry, I'm the head football coach here at Benedict College. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Welcome to Benedict College. It's a great day to be a Titan. I want to welcome you to this edition of the Coach Chenis Berry Show. All things Benedict College football. I want to say thank you to Coach thank Chenis you. Berry for doing what he does with our mm -hmm. athletics team. These guys, I mean, they're rolling. They are 1-0 once again, but we're going to get into all of that. Got to start this off by saying thank you to our sponsors who uh, make this thing happen. Yes. So South Point Roofing and Restoration, thank you for being a, a primary sponsor for the Coach Chenis Berry Show. That's uh, uh, South Point Roofing and Restoration. Got to give it up to Lexington Medical Center as well as good. Goodwill and Columbia Metropolitan Airport, CAE. Now listen, at home games, we're giving you a shot to fly places. So make sure you come to the home games to be a part of that. And a big shout to Founders Federal Credit Union, as well as Prisma Health, longtime supporter of Benedict College Football, as well as South Carolina Education Lottery. And if you play, play responsibly. You guys take a long, long, long trip, but you bring back the win. So you want to know once again, Coach. Want to know, man. Want to know is the mission mm -hmm. every week. And, uh, you know, we got on the road. We knew it was a business trip. Anytime we take a road trip, we, we look at it as a business trip, you know. And um, it's a long trip, <laughs> but we found a way to come back uh, with one mission and one mission in mind is that to come back one and know. And I'm very, very proud of the coaches, uh, our players, our support staff. And we don't travel a whole lot of people when we go on road trips. So, uh, the conference allows 58 players to play, and then we take a travel party of about 80 to 82 people. But I let, let them know that we had to bring our own juice. You know, and we bring our own juice. We had to come with that mindset in mind. We knew we were going to hostile territory, but the mission doesn't change, and that's to come back to Columbia, South Carolina, one and only. And we did that. And on this trip, Coach, you guys go down there, you handle it, you take care of business. 54-7 was the final score. I'm a little disappointed because you guys let somebody score on your final. <coughs> unfortunately, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. 54-7, though, still not shabby at all. Dominating performance by the defense once again. These guys are getting bigger, getting better, getting stronger each and every time. Get this. <laughs> I, I was even surprised. Benedict held the Dragons to negative seven yards rushing. Did you get that? Negative seven rushing. Not only that, 96 yards passing, and on top of that, 89 yards total offense for that game. I mean, are you hearing what I'm saying? And, and, and get this, we're still not firing on all cylinders. BC still has a lot of give to make, and they're going to do that for you, too. You held them to two of 14 on the third down conversion, so he made two. A 14 third down conversions. Your your defense is pretty stout. Wow, just grateful, grateful. Man. Those guys play amazing ball together. You know, they always talk about winning the day, and they talk about playing together as a defense. And that's the defensive line, the linebackers, and the secondary. And they were doing a great job. And they were able to go down to Lane College and really dominate that football team on the defensive side of the ball. So very, very grateful for our defensive staff, the work that they put in, led by Coach O'Daffer. Uh, those guys really had a great plan for Lane College's offense, and they did a great job. I mean, to hold a team to minus seven yards minus rushing. Seven. You know, that, that's that pretty impressive. Lot. And, uh, you know, a total, uh, to be able to hold them to like 86 yards total offense in a whole entire football game, kudos to our whole entire defense as well as our defense staff. Absolutely. So you guys, I'm telling you, I like when you say playing lights out because that's pretty much what this team did <laughs> right. the whole game. Right. Lane gets the ball first. They don't do much with it. It's a three and out. So they kick it to Benedict. What happens from there? Well, like, like you say, man, our defense went out there and started fast, man, went three and out, you know. Uh, always talking about winning first down. So if you can win first down and play good on second down and get them into third and long situations, well, that's exactly what happened. And our defense did what they've been doing all year. Got those guys off the field and forced them to a punting situation. So, you know, our offense was able to get the ball. And uh, I tell you what, we put it together and started fast as well. So we just kind of mixed up a little running pass and we were able to orchestrate a nine play drive. Um, it took it all the way down and we ended that drive with a touchdown by Zaire Scotland. So now we're up getting rocking and rolling at, at seven to zero. Lane is forced to punt because the defense held up once again, but we kind of left this one. Well, unfortunate. We always talk about self-inflicted negatives. Those are sins. And uh, Lane punted to us and, uh, you know, we were back to return. And one of our punt returners, you know, has been doing a great job for us all year. 
uh, Scoop. We call him Scoop, but Tory Morrison is his name. And uh, he tried to make a move and, and tried to make the first guy miss, and he ended up fumbling the punt. And uh, they end up getting the ball back, and they have the ball now on the 17-yard line. And uh, now our defense has their backs against the wall. But like I tell them, and, you know, just win the down. And unfortunately, we were able to give up our first uh, touchdown of the season. Uh, they had a 17-yard pass and was able to score on our defense. But, you know, our guys didn't, didn't fluster at all. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, I always ask them, you know, who will you be when adversity strikes? And they showed their true character on who they really are because from that point forward, they played lights out on defense and they had a great game going forward. But, you know, if on, in terms of that drive, they did give up a touchdown, but they, they really answered the bell for the rest of that game. And I was very, very proud of our defense. You know, special teams put the defense back up against the wall on this one. But again, as you say, you challenge your defense on this one here. Mm -hmm. So Lane is forced to punt once again, and, and Dathan Peterson comes up with a big one. Day Day, my main man. Uh, you know, we forced him into a punt situation, and we put some pressure on their partner, and we were able to block it. Um, Day Day Peterson was able to block one, and KP, Jerron Kilpatrick, was able to scoop it up, scoop and score to be able to get us points. So whenever we can generate points on the special team unit, you know, we always talk about three phases. Everybody hears about offense and defense all the time, and so we're playing with some really good ball on those sides of the ball. But we're playing really, really good ball on special teams as well. And to be able to generate a score to put us up 14-7, to 7, we're very, very grateful for their efforts. So now we roll into the second quarter where your kicker, uh, Tom Piccarello, does some really great things, especially with that leg. He gets mm -hmm. one from uh, 36 yards. He gets another one from 34 yards. So he puts the Tigers up 20 to 7 at this point. And then after that, you know, this field goal, the Dragons get the ball back. And Troy gets in. <laughs> i tell you what. You know, like you say, Tom Piccarello, man, he's great, man. He was doing a great job of putting the ball through the uprights. We were able to still get points. But um, like I say, our defense went on the field. And Troy Frazier, this is right before the half. Troy Frazier, which is a, one of our, our safeties, he did a great job of stepping in front of one of their passes. Uh, their quarterback threw a pass down the, down the left sideline, and Troy Frazier picked it off and took it 40 yards for a pick six to put us up 26-7 to seven right before the half. All right, 26-7 at the half, and Coach, i got to ask you about your, your thoughts on the first half of the game and how Benedict was playing. Well, we started fast. We started fast on offense and defense, and uh, we kind of stalled a little bit offensively. I thought the defense really picked it up uh, at that point after they gave up that first touchdown, but I was very, very happy with how uh, our defense responded more than anything. But offensively, we moved the ball mm -hmm. pretty um, frequently throughout that first half, but we were doing things, again, having self-inflicted negatives. Are shooting ourselves in the foot. And, you know, it was a battle of us versus us, really. You know, we always give respect to our opponents, but, you know, we were having a lot of self-inflicted negatives that caused us not to get touchdowns. We were getting points, field goals, and we always try to encourage, regardless of what, we want to get points, but we want touchdowns rather than field goals if we can help it. But I was grateful. Anytime you can go in the half with a lead, but I let our young men know that uh, we're a better football team than what we showed in that first half, and we need to come out in the second half ready to rock and roll. How do you can, uh, correct those self-inflicting uh, negatives that happen with the team? Well, you know, you just got to keep getting reps. You know, I know that at the end of the day, you want to be, you, we all strive for perfection. But the reality is we probably won't reach perfection, but we got to strive for it. And, you know, when you have things like turnovers where, you know, we always try to discourage turnovers. And we had one on punt return and we also had one on offense when we were moving the ball. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the... Uh, turnovers that we had on offense, we were actually in the red zone when we fumbled the ball, uh, one of our wide receivers. But, you know, you can't shoot yourselves in the foot. You can't have pre-snap penalties and things of those nature. Those are the things that drive you nuts as a coach. But, you know, at the end of the day, our guys responded. They went in at the half. We made corrections. I always talk to the coaches first and just talk about the things that we did good. Let's build on that. The things that we're not doing so good, let's get rid of those things and get the guys motivated to go out in the second half and start start really really fast and we knew we were going to get the ball in the second half first and our guys answered the bell and was able to come out and really start the second half fast as well all right we're going to take a break and uh, we're going to come right back but listen when we do we're going to come back with our player spotlight brought to you by goodwill listen this guy you're going to know who i'm talking about he's number zero he's also a grad student and he also plays nickel and corner as well and he's bringing some he's bringing the heat when you talk about the defense at better college jerron kilpatrick i'm so excited about kp man his name is jerron kilpatrick 
Uh, he had an amazing training camp. He's, he's getting everything he deserved. He plays corner for us. He's plays nickel. So we're excited about KP and what he's doing. They're, they're making our defense play lights out right now. <laughs> it's brought to you by Goodwill. We'll do that after the break. But I got to tell you, the Coach Chennis Berry Show is brought to you by South Point Roofing and Restoration. Back after this. Florida and I'm a graduate student here at Benedict College. I started playing football at the age of three for the Westwood Warriors. Some of my hobbies that I like to do, I like to go sneaker shopping, I like to fish, and I like to play the game. A role model would be my brother, his name is Jeremiah Samaripas. He's the head coach at Lincoln Memorial University. That's somebody I look up to major because he kind of introduced me to sports as far as when you be able to do the right things in high school, it could take you places you ain't never seen before. So that's why he's my role model. Go Tigers. Life moves fast. And while you're raising future MVPs, it's good to know you've got a teammate with Founders, a partner you can trust to always have your back, with products and services that give you the freedom to focus on the more important things. While you're sharing those moments, remember, we're here for one single reason, to help grow your financial success. So when the game is done, you can relax, because at Founders, our most valuable player is you. Welcome back to the Coach Chennis Berry Show, brought to you by South Point Roofing and Restoration. Benedict is up 26-7. Defense has been playing very well on this one. How do you guys want to come out? Because you're getting the ball back in the second half. How do you guys want to start this thing? Always talk about that middle eight, man. Mm -hmm. The last four minutes of the first half and the first four minutes of the second half. So we want to start fast. We knew that they started their offense first. Our defense forced a three and out. Now we're going to get an opportunity in the second half to get the ball first. And uh, I knew. Again, proper preparation prevents poor performance. I knew that they were going to try to uh, generate some excitement in the second half. So I told our special team coordinator, be, be ready for a surprise on side. And they indeed tried that, and we recovered it. So we're in good field position at this moment. Uh, we were able to move the ball down the field. All right, we had a big-time pass from Aeneas Dennis, our quarterback, who played a really, really good game again. He hit our freshman, Caden High. Caden High is an amazing football player. He had a big-time gain on this play, and then was able to take us down into the red zone, and then we feed it to the big back again. Zaire Scotland does a great job of getting us in the box, and this is his second touchdown of the day, so we're up. We're rocking and rolling at this point with another touchdown right after the half. Tom Piccarello, he comes in as the PAT for 33-7. to seven. Benedict lead on this one. Now in your next possession, you guys march down the field 71 yards, 9 plays. Let's talk about that. Putting the drive together. Again, starting fast in the second half. And I'm very, very encouraged about how our guys' attitudes. And again, I told them they had to bring their own juice. You know, we were going into hostile territory. We were 11 hours away from home. And uh, guys really came out with their minds right. So we were able to take another drive down the field. Like you said, 71 yards. And just a mixture of running pass and uh, uh, Aeneas Dennis was able to find Jalen Jones, another really good player for us that made a lot of plays for us at wide receiver. We were able to hit him. We hit Rashad McCain, one of our tight ends on that drive, and then we were able to finish that drive. I'll tell you what, this Caden High, freshman wide receiver we have, he is a special football player. We were able to finish that drive off with a touchdown pass to Mr. Caden High to finish that drive off with another touchdown. Tigers now are up 40 to 7, and you're not done. Another three and out by Lane, and then a short punt is going to give Benedict College great field position right at midfield. Well, we got the ball, and again, we want to just generate run and pass screens, you know, just kind of mix it up a little bit. And Aeneas Dennis was able to move us down the field again. And I'm very, very proud of Aeneas, but I tell you what, he hit Torrey Morris on a big game on that drive, and we were able to take the ball down in the red zone, and we were able to finish that drive off with a touchdown from Aeneas Dennis. 
pass to Rashad McCain for a six yard touchdown pass to generate another score. So at this point, we're rocking and rolling on offense as well. All right, Tom Piccarillo comes in, as you know, he gets that PAT, 47-7. And uh, I, listen, before we get into this fourth quarter, let's talk about your QB. You had a QB who had to come into the system, had to learn it in six weeks, and is doing some amazing things. Very, very proud of Aeneas Dennis. Aeneas Dennis is a graduate transfer from Shorter University. Uh, he's getting his master's uh, MBA right now with us, and he trusted the process and came to Benedict. And he, you know, I'll tell you what, I'm very, very grateful that he did. You know, we knew that he had playing experience already in the Gulf South Conference, and you know, the speed of the game wouldn't be much to him. But I tell you what, he had to do is learn what we do, and for him to only be here six, maybe seven weeks, and pick up what we do in a short period of time. And still, we hadn't missed a beat offensively. We've been rocking and rolling. We've been moving the ball up and down the field. And him being an engineer of that, very, very proud of him. He puts a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort into it because he knows what's at stake and he knows what he has to do. But there's no pressure on him. We have so many playmakers in the backfield, at tight end, at wide receiver, and of course, always with the offensive line. All you had to do is manage and get the ball to the playmakers, and I think he's doing a really, really good job of that. You're talking about he's thrown several touchdowns this year with zero interceptions, so just grateful for the way he's managing our offense, and I think the sky's the limit. He's still learning every day. You know, he's, he's learning and learning and learning and growing, but I think we're headed in the right direction with Aeneas Dennis as our starting quarterback. And it shows, no question about it. All right, so we get into the fourth quarter, and <laughs> automatically, Tigers march down the road, 72 yards, 10 plays this time. Well, at this point, we want to get some other guys in there. So we put Zay Foster, who, who I was so proud of Zay Foster and how he played in that fourth quarter. So Zay was able to get in, and he's a true dual threat quarterback. He's a lefty, and he's been in our system for a couple of years, and we knew what he's capable of doing, and he did exactly what we knew he was capable of doing. He, and he took the ball right down the field, a mixture of running pass. We were able to feed the ball to Jalen Taylor, uh, another one of our explosive running backs, as well as Izzy Rhodes, uh, up and down the field. And, and you know, Zay was able to complete a couple passes on that drive as well. So we were moving the ball and we were able to take the ball right down the field and finish that drive off with a touchdown run by Izzy Rhodes. So now we're up with another touchdown in, in the fourth quarter. So we're feeling really, really good at, about the position that we're at at this moment. And that's it, 54-7. This is pretty much how this one wraps up and you get another win under your belt. So you're 1-0 again one and oh, man. That's for the it. third week in a row. Just 1-0. Oh. Just 1-0. Oh. That's all he sees. But I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right. Listen, what we're going to do, we're going to come back. We got your assistant coach spotlight, which is uh, brought to you by Lexington Medical Center. And this time we're going to talk about your um, your special teams coordinator as well as your safeties coach. Kevin King, man, what a great young coach. I mean, he's been with me since I started the program here and uh, very, very grateful for him and his efforts on and off the field. But, I, you know, to be able to see a coach like that, you know, I watched him as a player, you know, coached him at Southern University and now watching him as a coach and watching him grow and how he's making us so much better in, in, in our kicking game and in our safeties unit, in our secondary. Uh, very, very grateful for Kevin King and the efforts that he's putting to help us build a great program here at Benedict College. All right, and that's going to be brought to you by Lexington Medical Center. So we'll jump to that and we'll also talk about next week's game against Chawan, right? Chawan. Chawan. We'll do it next, right after this. At Lexington Medical Center, we want you to lead a long and healthy life. And we're here to help you do just that. Our experienced team of healthcare professionals wants nothing more than to help make you well again. Take good care of yourself. And remember, we're here for you whenever you need us. If you don't already have a doctor or you're looking for a new one, choose from more than 70 physician practices at Lexington Medical Center. We wish you a lifetime of good health and happiness. Be well. Kevin King, born and raised in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm the special teams coordinator and safety coach here. Um, I started my coaching journey off at um, Southern University and in college where I actually played there for five years. I hopped right into being a graduate assistant for three years there. Then I got my first full-time job at Oklahoma Panhandle State University. Then I was able to get another job at Franklin Pierce University up in New Hampshire. After I did a year there, Coach Barry got the head coach job here at Benedict College where he called me to be his special team coordinator and safety coach here. People who influenced my coaching career has got to be the people that um, I work with, all the people I work with. 
Coach Odoms, Dawson Odoms, Coach Barry when he was the offensive coordinator at Southern University, Coach Trey Oliver when he was the defensive coordinator at um, Southern University, LaMarcus Gibson, the first um, person that gave me a job. I was He was the defensive coordinator. I worked under him at Oklahoma Panthers State University. And Russell Gaskamp, that's um, the first head coach I worked with outside of Southern University. One of my favorite coaching memories got to be the championship we won this past year. You know, um, it was a special moment. Uh, we, we made history, first ever championship in school history, but not only the first ever championship in school history, but that was my first ever championship as a, um, as a coach. So that had to be probably the best moment I have as a coach. Go Tigers. You've never been afraid to put in the work. The extra early, extra late, extra, extra work because you understand that education is the key that unlocks everything. Better pay, better hours, better opportunities, a better you. And playing the lottery is no different. Getting educated before you play gives you the tools you need to be a better player, like knowing when to play and when to take a rain check. Visit sceducationlottery.com slash better you to be a better player. Your trip begins now. Your trip is your story. And all the best stories begin right here at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Whether you travel for business or pleasure, we design CAE to maximize your comfort. Maybe your trip is one of discovery, reunion, or time to close the deal. Wherever your trip ends, it all begins right here. The Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Fly with ease. Welcome back to the Coach Chittis Berry Show, brought to you by South Point Roofing and Restoration. Uh, Benedict, 1 0 again. Third week in a row. And now, uh, you know, coming up next, we got Chawan, mm -hmm. Chawan University. Uh, what we do know about them is uh, they're the Hawks. They're in Murfreesboro, North Carolina, mm -hmm. so way up there in the northeast corner. Mm -hmm. They're 0 3 right now, but teams that are 0 3 are dangerous, Coach. Well, very dangerous. This is a really good football team. Mm -hmm. You know, they've lost three games, but I tell you what. This is a well-coached football team. We have to go and get our minds right and make sure we have a great work week of preparation. Like I tell our players all the time, you know, rain, sleet, or snow, guess what? The mailman got to go to work. This is true. So it's time to put our hat, hard hat on and get ready to go to work this week because we got a really, really good football team that we're getting ready to go play this week in Shawan University. They're currently in the Gulf South Conference. They were in the CIAA, but they're now in the Gulf South Conference. Very, very good football team, well-coached unit, and we're going to have to have our minds right when we go to Murfreesboro, North Carolina this upcoming weekend. What do you know about the Hawks? Tell you what, they, they're, they're strong. I'll tell you what, they, they were in the CIAA championship game last year. They lost a nail biter to uh, Fayetteville State last year. But, you know, their coach left from last year. He's at a different uh, university now, and they have a new coach. And uh, they have moved conferences now to the Gulf South Conference. And, well, coach football team, they play really, really good defense. They have a sound scheme offensively, and they do a great job on special teams. So we're going to have our work cut out for us as we prepare to get, go to battle this weekend at, at Shawan University. I said they, they're passing at least 200 yards, mm -hmm. uh, averaging that per game. So that's going to be a tough test for your defense. Absolutely. They're going to have to come. But they're working this week and they're really prepared. And I have no doubt in my mind that our defense staff is going to do a great job, as well as our offense staff, led by Coach Jonathan Williams, is going to do a great job, and Coach King with our, our special teams. But, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, it's never about the opponent. We respect all the opponents. We got to make sure it's us versus us. And we have to work on us. And I like our chances. We just got to get ourselves together, uh, make sure we have a great work week of practice. We have full control of what we do throughout the week. We don't know what the opponent's doing. But we have full control of what we do every day, and I want to make sure our young men are focused and locked in. And we talk about it every day. If you come to our practice, you see pay the fee on the back of their shirts. That's focus, effort, and execution. I believe if we can do those three things week in and week out, we got a chance to go 1-0 and again. Here it is. And, you know, with your defense, we could talk about them because they are stout. Of course, you can't do much without your offense, so they all work together mm -hmm. as a unit. But your defense is ranked number one mm -hmm. in Division II football right now. Oh. I, you know, and I knew this going into the offseason, you know, mm -hmm. I told our defense staff led by Coach O'Daffer that, you know, we were really good in 2022. Mm -hmm. I put ourselves in great position to be successful because of how good we played on defense in 2022. But I think that we have a chance to be elite mm -hmm. in 2023. You know, we've recruited that way. I mean, we went out and really stacked our defensive line and made sure that our linebackers are all returning from last year. And we have a really special 
secondary. And when I say special, those young men play well together and they communicate well together and they have great talent back there. And they're very, 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 very uh, prideful and they want to make sure that they do a good job back there and they, they really take take pride every week to try to be the best they can be. So I really love where our defense is playing right now. Uh, I think they're heading in the right direction again, but it's one game at a time, one day at a time, and we're just trying to find a way to go one and all. Good stuff there, Coach. Listen, you can always travel to catch the Tigers as well. Murfreesboro, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. But if you can't make that trek and you still want to watch them, you can go to Flow Sports. That's F-L-O Sports. Flow Sports. You have to get a subscription on that as well. And I believe you can get Tiger Radio too because they always travel well, with Benedict College as well. So here it is. You guys are ready to take on Chawan and uh, non-conference game, but still important. Very important. And if you can make that trip up, it's about a four-hour ride from here. If you can make that trip to Murfreesboro, we'll be grateful for your support. It's always great to see that purple and gold in the stands. Our players and our coaches really, really appreciate it. But uh, I tell you what, it's a very important game. Why? It's because it's our next game. You know, we always talk about just going one and oh, it's our next game. But it's also important because they're in our region. Although they're not in the SIC, our conference, they're in our region, which is Region 2 in Division 2 football. So it's a very, very important game to be able to go and play a non-conference opponent and play well and come away with a victory. All right, now I know Coach, he only likes to go to that next game. I want to go a little bit further because I need Charlie W. Johnson Stadium packed up for this one. On the 30th, Benedict Collins is going to be playing against Morehouse. 6 p.m. kick. We need that stadium rocking. We need you in the place to be, all right? So, again, we got a Chawan coming up this Saturday, but that following one is back home right here at Charlie W. Johnson Stadium. Get those tickets. Be there to support your Benedict College Tigers. We need that 12th man live, 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 and loud. Bring everybody to that game. If you can, we'll see you in Murfreesboro, North Carolina. Coach, we appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Always a pleasure, man. All right. My man. Listen, uh, Coach Chenis Berry Show is brought to you by uh, South Point Roofing and Restoration. We also want to give big shouts to Lexington Medical Center, uh, Goodwill, Columbia Metropolitan Airport, as well as Founders Credit Union. How about this, Prisma Health? And uh, let's see, South Carolina Education Lottery. All our sponsors, we thank you. But of course, our primary sponsor, South Point Roofing and Restoration, supporting Benedict College football. Coach Janice Berry, what mm -hmm. you what say you? Wanna know, baby? Let's get it. Go Tigers. <laughs>